Let's continue on our journey here of trying to solve uh, quadratic expressions. So step one, read, write it in standard form. Well, it's nowhere near standard form, so I need to move it in that direction. And so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So I get 3x squared minus a 2x equals 0. Now, if some of you are going, wait a minute, where's the other term? Isn't a standard form supposed to have three terms in there? Well, a definition of quadratic doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have, to have to have each of these three terms. What it means is that its highest term has to be a square or a second degree polynomial. So this is a quadratic, but this last constant is just zero, so it's kind of, um, it's just missing. Next step, let's factor. Well, first of all, it looks like I can factor something from both terms. I can factor out an x. I'm left with 3x minus 2 equals 0. Now, do you notice I have two factors here? One factor is this x. The other factor is 3x minus 2. So I apply my zero product principle. And from there, one or one of these two factors, for it to be true, must be 0. So I'll set the first factor equal to 0, x equals zero, uh, already solved. Set the second factor to zero, three x minus two equals zero, three x equals two, x equals two thirds. So there are my two solutions to this quadratic equation. And then we wanna go on and check, and I'll save the check for you if you choose to do that.